The retreat has been confused and chaotic. After 48 hours of gain, Libya's rebel army is on the run. The cars and trucks which make up the makeshift militia have come under mortar fire from pro-Gaddafi fighters. This was the outskirts of Bin Jawad. Al Jazeera's James Bays was there. About two thirds of the opposition fighters had fled Bin Jawad, and when those mortars landed in Bin Jawad, I think the vast majority then left. We left too, because if we'd stayed to try and confirm that Bin Jawad had fallen, I think we would have been among those who would have been captured by Gaddafi forces. My belief now is that Bin Jawad has uh, fallen. The pro-democracy fighters had driven through unopposed over the last two days, almost to cert. That's strategically important because it's Gaddafi's birthplace and the place where this fight back began. The rebels say they need help. Where's America? Where's Great Britain? They should come here and help us. What they're doing now is not considered help. Real help would be for them to give us weapons or prevent Gaddafi's forces from advancing on us. The town of Miserata is also under attack from pro-Gaddafi forces. The government in Tripoli says it's under its control, but locals report fierce fighting in many areas. The rebels have now been pushed back to Razlanuf and Gaddafi forces have been seen advancing on the area. The rebels are largely untrained, inexperienced, with no proper chain of command. And at the moment, they're on the run. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.